what up what up what up it's your girl free coming at you guys with another exclusive vlog today i'm in motherfucking bakersfield california i'm so very excited to be bringing you guys an interview from my cuddy what's up kevin edwards jr give the people nigga they know who you is but give the people a little bit of introduction you know <laughs> I see your mama at Macy's. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Classic shit. Oh my gosh, Kevin. It's been so long, nigga, since I probably like say it. it's been a cool couple years since I've seen you. We've talked, communicated and stuff, but it's been a minute since six, I've actually seen you. Six, seven years? Yeah. Damn. It's been a minute since we've made a skit, bro. Yeah, I done got 30 pounds heavier and four kids. Yep. I be telling people you got six. So it's four? <laughs> you told people I got six? Yeah, I told my mama yesterday you got six. That's all I'm <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's her grands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, okay, so basically, honestly, everybody in the world knows how successful you are right now. So it's like usually when we get on here and we do the interviews, it's mostly like up and coming rappers. I've been getting blessed to do a lot of rappers that are already established lately okay. so you know i've done a lot of people that are popular in california and just have like a cool fan base but for the most part people get on here and they explain basically what what they've done and how they started and but everybody knows your story you know they yeah, it was just the started really from the skits yep i was doing comedy sketches back in like oh six yeah oh seven um, I was in like these YouTube contests just trying to make it, you know, right. trying to be an actor or a comic. Right. Um, and then shortly after that, we started doing the vlogs and then back to the skits, mm -hmm. back to the skits with free. The skits back in 06. Mm -hmm. That's when I started just to kind of stay out of trouble mm -hmm. because being from this city, you know, you either going to be on the east side, west side. You or know, the country or the country mm -hmm. and uh, i just wanted to stay out of trouble so i started doing comedy sketches wanting to get on tv mm -hmm. really looked up to martin lawrence and and eddie murphy mm -hmm. and uh chris tucker all of those guys so that's what i was doing then we went to the vlogs and then free came around we went back to the skits and then uh one day i just you know i, I had my son Jaden, and then zoe my daughter was coming and um i just wanted to change you know? right like i felt like I was kind of overdoing it and doing too much on the internet and I wanted to get more business minded. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started going to the gaming channel. Uh, I went over to the gaming channel, which is kid friendly, you know, and then that one was the one that just really popped and hit right. 7 million okay. you know, subscribers. And you have that today? Yes. Okay. Congratulations, Thank you. bro. Yeah. Congratulations. So, that took some time. Over yeah. like 2,000 videos, mm -hmm. you know. But your boy back though, you know what I mean? We back on our bullshit. <laughs> no, for facts though. Honestly, like, I mean, when I look back at those skits and I see everything that's going on now with everybody doing all these funny videos, and I think about how we just started and we got so much fucking flack, like yep. for being so loud and just ghetto, but everybody loved it. But of course, like our parents side eyeing us and shit. Yep. Niggas looking at us side eyeing at I church. Think mine did uh, yesterday. Oh God, your parents? Yep. <laughs> My parents been side eyeing me. <laughs> they, them niggas ain't lowered their gay since 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 I've been doing them. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, it's like when it comes down to it, though, you took an empire that you built. And, you know, I came on board when you already were established. That's what a lot of people don't understand. So we're going on record talking about shit today that you guys think that is something that's not really something. You know, a lot of people think, Kevin, that, you know, we started the platform in the sense together. Mm -hmm. Like, and, you know, then you just kind of disappeared. Right, and, right, right, and, right, And deleted the videos. No, and uh -uh. I'm on record to say that's not how it started. I never spoke back to y'all fans about it because... I didn't want to speak on it when he wasn't here to say his piece. Yeah, what it is is, you know, I privated the video, so the videos are still there. Exactly. It's just that other guys and me, we all, we all had different business moves. Exactly. You know, so, like, I tried to become a sheriff. Mm. Like, I was on some cop shit. You oh, know okay. Some some fat shit? Like, you know, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I was trying to get the bread. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I got in there and I had an interview, mm -hmm. I was almost to the academy. And then they pulled up my YouTube skits. Ooh. And people don't know that. Ooh. So I had like five sheriffs right in front of me. Right. And it was like, tell us what this is. And they flipped the screen. Mm. And it was like, oh, you portraying a character. Because uh, they pulled up the, where the milk at. Mm. You portraying a character that we arrest. Mm. You feel me? Bye-bye. Mm. Bye bye. You, you're not. You're not. And see, a lot of people. So that they never knew thing. that. Yep. They never knew what we went through or what happened with us. I was in school. 
Yep. I was pursuing a degree. You know, I'm I'm Muslim. So me being on there acting like a nigga wasn't something that was just smiled upon. You no. know what I mean? It wasn't. No. So it was like it was a lot of things that we had to find. We had to find ourselves within yep. that time. But, you know, not, I personally never spoke on it. But I think a lot of people don't realize you built that platform, Kevin, yourself. And we yeah. came on the platform as guests. And don't get me wrong. We built to the platform. Right. And right, you've right. never discredited us for that. Never. But people shouldn't have, you know, be so gun hold to speak on a situation when that they really just don't know. know. You know, you know? The, the ones that was in the sketches can be in the sketches now. Exactly. You feel me? I got mm -hmm. the same love for everybody. It's just that we all grown. I'm 30. So I'm yep. Four kids. Yep. A wife. Yep. You know, um, businesses, mm -hmm. different things have changed, yep. you know, so, um, but anybody, I don't care who it is. Right. Come and get in this kit. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Come on. Come on. Come make my day. Yep. And I mean, I honestly took a break too from skits. I didn't yeah. do skits without you. Kevin, it didn't feel the same. You were the one that I clicked with on camera. Yeah, that's just how you were my on camera is. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved cussing you out. It's, that's where I was that's where I was going. That's where I was going. You like cussing me out. <laughs> I like cussing you out. And it's like, you know, a lot of people wonder like how we met. You guys will never know that. I used to date Kevin's friend. Yep. And Kevin caught me one time cussing him out. That's all it took was one time. And I was serious, y'all. I wasn't acting. I wasn't joking. This was a dead ass serious combo. And Kevin caught it. Kevin, Kevin laughed so hard. Kevin got out the car and ran up the street and came back. That's how I'll never forget it. And I'm looking like this nigga, I'm serious. That's when I knew. That's she when she got to be in comedy. And he called me. He was like, let's do the Valentine's Day skit. Yep. You know? And the, I seen your mom at Macy's skit. That's what they just basically made that skit. You feel, oh, shit, I forgot you had the shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So we decided to do that. And for there, from there, it was just up. Right. So, you know, I, I when we took the break from it, it gave me a chance to grow as a woman, to grow as an individual, as a friend, as, you know, as as a daughter, as everything. As everything. As everything. And you're on your business. Yes. You got your interviews going. Yes. Like, this is a different tip. It know? is. It is. But that nigga is still in me. Yes. Because even on these interviews, I yep. still be turning up with the rappers, having my fun, you know, doing what I got to do. But at the same time, I did miss the skits. You so, know what? But this is different. Yeah. I feel like nobody's doing this. Like, yeah. you like legit in the car. Yep. On some interview type yep. stuff. We're not yep. in no studio. We're not yep. behind no, you know, no makeup and yep. all of this. It's just, I, I like that for you. Yeah, like thank that. you so much. I appreciate that. And honestly, your gaming channel is unique too because it's funny to me. Like, you sit there and play the game, but you still being funny just and clowning out. and laughing. And that's what they love. Yeah, that's all. The that's why, because you're not giving them no cheat sheets or nothing nope. on the videos, huh? So you're, you're just literally playing the game. Yeah, clowning. You have to be entertaining, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, it's really for a break of the parents. You know, okay. parents get home, they tired from work, working right. out, this, that, right. business people, stressed out. And then they, they like, here, put on Kev and sit down for a second. Let me detox. Right, exactly. You know I mean? So I'm always entertaining, whether it's an, an adult crowd or right. a kid crowd or, you know, I feel like I'm always just doing something right. to uh, make people smile. Right. So, okay, so what do you feel like from through all it now? Because everybody knows how successful you are, mm -hmm. Kevin. It's like, you know, niggas look your net worth worth up. Right. Type shit. And mm -hmm. they'll tell me, you know, over the years, I hadn't even realized that you were rich. And I know you're not going <laughs> to come on here, nigga, and say it. That's a strong word. You feel me? I hadn't That's realized it. So I was like, damn. So somebody was like, have you, you, you ever really look up what Kevin's worth? And I'm like, no, that's for my cutty. Like, what you mean? What am I, what you mean with the nigga worth? Like, it's just, wow. to me, you just regular calves. Right, so it was right, never right, like, right, oh my with, God, you with know? Some, with some toothpaste still in there. You feel me? You know, like, in the, in the niggas still got all types of shit in the car. Like, it's regular. <laughs> it's regular shit. You feel me? So it's like, I came outside the house twerking. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Ain't nothing changed. But they told me and I was like, you know, damn. Like you're really successful. You've made a basically a comfortable life for you and your family. Right, that was the goal. That was the goal. So, what do you goal. feel like got you there? Um, consistency. Okay. I think uh, I think with our sketches and our skits and even vlogs, mm -hmm. if we were as consistent as anybody else that was doing it, mm -hmm. because remember Vine had hit. Yep. And then you got King Batch and you had a lot of these people. They was putting up two, three, four vines a day. Yep. And then that blew them up, catapulted them to where they could send their audience from Vine to Instagram. Mm. Then they 
right at a million on Instagram like yep. that. We like, damn. Yep. We had ten thousand. Yep. You know, and that was the thing when I started gaming. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try to do this every day. Mm -hmm. you know? It was funny for people like us to try to do something every day because we some niggas. Yep. So we like, damn, we not. I'm not doing nothing every day. Right. And then that. I just changed that mentality and just started gaming and gaming and gaming every day. And then the numbers just started flying up like crazy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that shit. You know, yep. it's just, you know, it was just something that I tried. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, let me be consistent at this. And the kids. Yeah, because it. I was completely. It was so way, way, way I never, over. You never even discussed that. <laughs> no, it was way. I called Jones one day. I'm like, hey, bro, let's, let's game. Right. And he met me at Target and picked up a system. And that's kind of how we started it. Were you guys playing games before that? Just on some like because you, you was 2K, not okay. Yeah, you know, nigga shit. Yeah, Madden, Madden exactly. <laughs> not two no two nigga favorites. Not Madden no and 2K. Game. You know, I wasn't really into the the kid games, but when I play them, it's weird because when you get on the game, and you start playing with the kids, you start liking it. Mm -hmm. I got two thousand videos, you know. Right. I mean? Like I could play anything and they'll watch it, but I I still keep playing the same thing. What do you play? Because it's fun. It's called Roblox. Oh, okay. I thought it's I don't like, know why I thought it was Minecraft. It's like Minecraft. Okay. You know, it's it's that same type of uh, build. Okay. Per se, um, and it's just consistency with anything. Mm -hmm. I think anybody can blow up um, the key, the remedy. Everybody, hey, bro, you got the keys. I ain't got shit. Mm -hmm. I got consistency. Exactly. Everybody asks me that, and you know what's crazy is I give people advice on what to do for their YouTube, and it's like. That's it. It's all it is is advice. There's no key. No, no key. Because what pops for you is not going to pop for me. Yep. You got it. And it and it's just it's like some things work together, some things work separated. Right. And that's what over years and time you're going to learn. People always think that we did something extra mm -mm. for niggas to get those millions of views on YouTube. Find no. your niche. Yeah, we no. were just ourselves. Some people car people. Yeah. So, so they get their views from mm -hmm. cars. Some people makeup. Yeah. Some people comedy. Yep. You know, singers. Yep. And and it, you gotta find your thing. Yep. And once you do that, you, you're flowing and you're calling. Yep. You feel me? And it, it, it feels more natural, it feels better when you go home, when you uh you know, at the house chilling, you're like, damn, I'm I feel successful. Exactly. Because I'm flowing in my calling. Exactly. So that's what it really was for me with the gaming thing. It, it's all comedy to me. Mm -hmm. So people's like, oh nigga, why you go to gaming? Ooh. Nigga, I'm making the kids laugh. Right. It don't got nothing to do with your grown ass. Right. <laughs> right. You know? Exactly. But I know you want content too. Yeah. You feel me? So I it, just I just had to figure it out how to balance it all out. Right. That's the best thing. So what made you want to because I've seen the busted challenge on your page. Mm -hmm. I've seen the video that you just put up with Todd. Those are the first kind of skit type of things. And to be honest, I should have seen it coming <laughs> when you put the barbershop photo on yes. there. I said, oh, I'll he's on up. Yeah, I said, he's on bullshit. I'll start now. Because it's like, that photo, I know that that was a skit and that was such a funny day. Like, So I was thinking like, okay, and then I seen it. I'm like, hold on, yep. Kevin. Uh -huh. You ain't finna do this and not include me. <laughs> I'm too, nigga. What? No, you always, you, you, you always on my mind. First, first person. Yeah. You know, to be honest with you, you and Jones. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Um. So yeah, it's just I'm just happy to be on here with you. Oh, Kevin. Be in here with you. And I love that you. You, you, you got a glow to you. Thank you. And and it's a great glow. Thank great you. Glow. And you got one too, nigga. You know, you just always been a genuine soul. Like you just always been just super funny, you know, down to earth. You ain't changed a bit. No. Nah. Ain't ain't changed not one bit. You know, you've always just been the same type of nigga. Yep. You know, I could come to you and be like, Kevin, I'm going through woo with this hood nigga over here. And it's like no judgment nope. or whatever the case was. And it's just always been a genuineness. And I think it's, that's what made our video so good for the and people. That's exactly what it is. And you, money makes you more of what you are. Mm -hmm. If you're a genuine person, you become more genuine. Yep. If, yep. you're, if you're an asshole and you're mean and you're arrogant yep. and you get some bread, you're like, yep. fuck everybody. Yep. You feel me? And you on, on that. So it just made me more, more of what I was. Yep. You know, and I, it's a blessing, man. I, I got that from my pops. Mm -hmm. You know, my pops, my mom too, but my pops just got such a genuine spirit. Yeah, and definitely. I, I've always liked your parents. Like him, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, hell yeah, like nigga. That. You over yeah. here looking like a whole grandpa. Man, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Nah, but you know what it is, is you just got that, like, that family glow. Right. Like, that family it's glow. It's a daddy. It's a daddy thing. It's a daddy. Yeah, it's, it's a daddy <laughs> thing. It is. How do you like do you is it different being a daddy it's amazing it's the best oh it's the that's what changed me yeah you know i think i would have still been out here on some you know 
trying to sleep with everybody type yep. thing, you know. Um, but having the kids and then marriage, marriage changed me mm -hmm. as well. Um, that just, I had to grow up. Like, you know, how, to, how am I going to make honest money? Yep. How am I going to do honest things? How am I not going to want to go in this girl house? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to, when you in that lifestyle and you're doing it so much, it's hard to get out of it. Right. You know, so I had to make a complete stop mm -hmm. and say okay i'm gonna try to just do friendly kid friendly things you know because that helped my mentality right on how i treat my wife and treat other people exactly you know? and that's it's what true helped. that's what helped and honestly you know i never came out in that time and asked you like why you stopped doing the skits i never cared kevin knows like yep. i never was tripping off the skits i never would hit kevin up and be like let's never. do a skit today he'd always hit me i'm i'm yep. ready i'm game like because you guys yep. know i live th three different lifestyles in one <laughs> you know what i mean i could be the college girl i could be the twerker at the uh yes. at the club i could be the video girl i could be the interviewer i might be a male lady yes. i might do your taxes i have different you feel me 50 shades of free so when I knew when you were ready. Right. You were going to come back around. And I knew whenever we decided to give somebody else even a taste, a clip, a skit, whatever the case was, was I knew. Yes, because you know what? Listen, shout out to y'all. Shout out to the subscribers and the fans. You guys have literally been supporting me and Kevin for years. That's what brought me back. Like, that's really the reason that that's it's what like, me back. I could not believe it. All of the people I can comment on one of your pictures That shit gets like 200 likes I'm like how do they even know my mm -hmm. page I, I got a whole different page yep. now Like she said shout out to y'all Y'all the ones that you know blew us up Blew me up yep. blew, You know and I I had to just give you something You know I, I don't like being like lazy Yeah You know we've made the money and all of that And we could just chill and kick back and whatever And have a cigar and right. whiskey and you know we chilling all day that don't do nothing for me though you right know? it's like i gotta i gotta get this out mm -hmm. y'all want it when the we, ratch. Got, when we gotta get out they won't you feel me so it's like okay cool that's <laughs> so all kevin today we um actually did a skit today so that will already be up by the time this video drops so you guys make sure you go look on kevin's page to see that but we did a skit today and i told kevin i'm like you know this is just so natural i ain't cussed the nigga out in months yeah, me the hell out. like i ain't cussed the nigga out in months and it's just like it, it it's just off the dome you know and to all the people that have been doing videos and that basically had inspir inspiration from us you know shout out to y'all too because y'all yep. kept our legacy alive as well yep. a lot of people that make funny videos now have come to me and told me like i've started videos because i watched you and kevin in high school you know me and kevin are older we ain't old out here yeah, yeah, but yeah. we ain't young like y'all young nah, birds nah, you know what they, i mean so still, it's like my knees cracking it, and exactly yeah, you know yeah. i gotta go slow to get down type. <laughs> i can't even do the busted challenge kevin did the busted challenge more than me better than me ain't even did it you know, knees my go booty do be moving <laughs> fuck up be throwing gosh so it's like you know but you guys kept our legacy and basically everything that you know we wanted we just wanted to come out on the internet and give y'all laughs honestly That's because it. everything that we did was relatable we all had those situations before. We all wanted to break up with somebody before Valentine's Day. We all, you know, wanted a female to leave after y'all yep. had sex. We all always, we wanted all the cut to the chase. Always. We want to know if a girl was fucking before we went on a date. Like every That's skit, life. life That's every skit life. we That's ever did. Life. But it was like, oh my God, they're actually bringing it out. Nobody was doing that at that no. time when we started. And you know, I gotta, I, we really gotta top pat ourselves on the back, Kevin. We do because I never realized it for like that until I post a clip of us and it gets and like 12,000 views and everybody's like oh my god yeah. I miss y'all you're legendary you're the GOAT and I don't like doing that to us yeah like patting our own back yeah you feel me I'm, I've never really been like that but when you say you do got to get your flowers though yeah you feel me like, and that's how I was too you know I always chill people will come tell me and I always felt like I was that bitch so even before these videos it was no ego boost the, the, the videos were just cool I always had that confidence so when people would come up to me and they'd see me and stuff it was always genuine love thank right. you for watching you don't have to watch us we come from a small city and this is what I let everybody on the interviews know we come from nothing small. small there's a few selected people that have made it out here Kevin being one of them but it's like you know we come from a small city so <laughs> what we were doing at that time was something that nobody else was even mm -hmm. thinking of 
So we just did it solely off the fact for the laughs. Kevin is a, a fool in real life. <laughs> like, I mean, I honestly hadn't realized the effect we had on people's lives until they continued after all these years to write me. Oh my God, and, I remember. And follow me. Yes. You know, I'm like, I'm on some game and kids. Yes. Stuff. What is y'all still yes. over here for? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, you know, you would, you would, you would think that they wanted your craft, you know, the videos, but they loved you. Yes. And that was what it was That's for me too. That's the difference. That's the difference. That's why I said, you know, we got to get to the point to where we do give ourselves that credit. Me and Kevin do not give ourselves credit for the stamp that we put on the YouTube videos and comedy. We don't. No. And it's like, because you live a gaming life with the children. I just, I'm, I'm a real nigga. So yep. I live a real nigga life. Yep. You know what I mean? So I ain't finna. She live a real nigga. <laughs> I just go into character. This a real nigga. <laughs> real shit, Kevin know it. Yeah. know it. So it's like, you know. But yeah, we truly we've truly been blessed over the years. We have. And honestly, you know, on camera, I got to thank you, bro. I would have never did the videos, it's, Kevin, if you wouldn't have called me to do them. You know what? It's all love. You yeah. Thank you. When you walked out today, I was like, <laughs> that's why they it's been years, but yes. it, it feel like it's just been days. Yeah. You know, no, for real. That's how it it's always been with us. Yeah. And I appreciate you. Yeah. Your effort. It's relentless. Your mouth, your, <laughs> you just got like a timeless comedy to me. You know, Thank like you. how Martin had Pam, mm -hmm. and, you know, whoop do whoop, whoop, and and, and uh, uh, what, what's, what's Gina? Gina, but the one he be turning into uh, Shanae. Shanae. I loved yeah, her. Yeah. So it's just this, this certain thing. It's an it thing. Yeah. Definitely. You gotta have an it thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, you just got the it thing. Well, thank you, thank you, and you do too. You do too, cause there's a lot of niggas out there right now doing videos, and they're funny. You know what they're saying is funny. The scenarios they're using right, are funny. The scenarios. But yeah, the scenarios they're using are funny, but they're not you. Yeah, the scenarios really are what are making the videos. Everything. Yes, everything. you like okay. For instance, the video you did with Todd, to where like you're coming in the room and you're watching Todd as he's like doing like watching the busted challenge, but it's the first face that you make when you come in. You don't even say nothing. Yeah, you just come in and make a face. Yeah, peeking in. Oh my. The neck. I'll be. Threw me. It flew. I yeah, literally some flew. Yeah. That's that Martin. Out. That's that yeah. Martin shit. You know. Yeah. It's like the expressions. That's what you naturally got it, Kevin. And honestly, what made you want to come back to doing the skits? You got to tell them that it's, after it's, all these years, besides the fans. It's freeing. It's freeing. Um, you know, I feel like I'm being myself. Mm -hmm. You know, like I got to get just that creative itch you know how Kanye be tripping a little bit mm -hmm. you know like he is a creative itch that you have to get out mm -hmm. and you have to tell a story mm -hmm. and the scenarios that we do I've lived it yep. I went to Emerson which is rated a, a probably a one or zero out of ten mm -hmm. you know so I was about I was around a bunch of hood people mm -hmm. and that's where our hood comedy came from I know scenarios I know what what hood people think why they think it yeah you know what I mean because that's who he was around is Bakersfield. Yep. You know, so I just, I, I have to get it out. When I see some sketches and skits, I'm like, God damn, I got like 30 ideas, but right. I don't do this no more. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got to change. Yeah. I, I got I have to get that creative uh, mind right. out. You know, and then I go back to dad and gaming and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Edwards Estate and everything else that. It, explain to them what the Edwards Estate is. So that is a, a, property that we bought that where we do weddings at weddings okay. um events it's 150 acres okay you know so it's, it's big time oh it's, okay. it's big time for so basically what it is is like you own the the land on the but, land but what the is house. it it's a mansion but yes. you do you live on it i don't live on it okay i just you know we just rent it out for occasions weddings uh Oh, this nigga done made it made uh, it <laughs> events parties you know any, yeah. anything i got you know, I got people wanting to come down and use it. I got Lakers, okay. Lakers and stuff oh, on the come. Yeah, yeah okay. some shit. we got some shit, you know. And then I was blessed with the Bugatti. Okay. Lambos. I've had a lot of cars. You know, I've you had, had a Porsche too, right? I had a, no, I had a McLaren. Okay. So what do you have right now? What cars do you have right now? Bugatti. Okay. Um, Lambo. Okay. Tesla. Okay. Uh, 55 Chevy. Old school 50, 50 uh, Bel Air 57 okay. Bel Air 66 GTO. Um, I think that's in this truck right here. Okay, <laughs> this, this is the truck. You're naming a lot of stuff. Yeah, huh? <laughs> hold on, nigga. You missed me after the Bugatti <laughs> and the Lambo. 
<laughs> this the trap truck right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, it's just, but but things are just they're just things. Yes, exactly. It's, they're just materialistic. It's material. Things. You know, I can't mm -hmm. take them with me. Can't tie it to a hearse. So mm -hmm. you know, it's they're fun. But you gonna have fun in the town and be a nigga and them while you alive. Right. Yep. That's it. But yep. I, we can't take it with us, and that don't change me as a person. You know? Right. And no, it hasn't at all. Nah. You're the same person, Kevin. And I don't know if people have looked at your, you know your videos and thought different but i'm here to say he's the same nigga just chill he's the same nigga and you just definitely chill. did not lose your touch when i seen the videos that you've been posting the little teasers you've been giving us letting people know like i'm back on my bullshit i knew you that's your word oh uh, like that's her words back on my bullshit back on my bullshit when i seen that i was like yo bro you ain't skipped a beat no you're still hilarious we're just stupid yeah it's just we're just like that's just naturally who yeah, we are just stupid just naturally who we are so what what advice would you give to the subscribers you know about just what's to come for you what advice and what and what and what they should do what in the they future should do? um you have to what happened to me to really blow up or whatever you want to do is you, you have to find your niche your craft what's good for you not not what's good for me or what's good for free or what right. works for us what works for you you only do that by trying out different things yep you know you try out different things and then you say hey, i kind of i didn't even know i liked cooking mm -hmm. but damn i'm whipping up this every day now. right no I, oh damn i got a cookbook right you know i ordered this cookbook mm -hmm. you know you're like wow now now you have found a niche that you like so you have to try different things once you do that you'll you know, you dial in on that. Like I said earlier, you got to be consistent like crazy. I was willing to die. I told my <laughs> wife I was willing to die in this room to blow up in gaming. Yep. So I was in that bit. I was in the room, you know, six at night to three in the morning, four in the morning, because I right. was, you know, not even getting rest or anything because I'm willing to die for the success. Right. You know. What did you have to give up besides time? Um. To get to get there really that was that's what i had to give up you know was time friendships yep you know i uh, kind of just had to change my circle around yeah to, to no circle at all yeah it was true. shit just me yep it's you yep you know in this room with this gaming set up and just going in mm -hmm. my best friend was the wi-fi mm. now your best friend is a million <laughs> <laughs> how my friend fucked up they did yes. and you know in that time i know everybody was sad i missed you i still will converse with you and talk right, to you and right. stuff i feel like you probably talked to me out of everybody the anybody. most yeah, yeah than anybody you know because it would always just be how you doing kevin i see you i see you yep. you're doing good you know i never i knew there was a reason yeah and i never wanted to pry what it was because like i said the skits and the videos were your thing I just came into it as a person that didn't know much about it. Well, you know, uh, that time with the skits and us doing a lot of cussing and different things, I didn't know if we were making a impact on mm. like changing lives. But what it is is you are, yeah, because they they tune into you and you're you're playing a character. Mm -hmm. After you leave that character, we on some real life type exactly. shit, exactly. And you can teach these people something. When you grab the people, you can teach them. Mm -hmm. And I'm about teaching. Yeah. You know, so um, if this is what I have to do, work my craft to grab people and to change them and show them right. the real estate, show them how we got the estate, show them how to get the Bugatti. Mm -hmm. That's my big thing. Exactly. And now you have something to back it up. Mm -hmm. You know, you've touched both platforms. You've touched the actual one that made you successful. And then you touched the one that you loved. Yep. Because you didn't, honestly, you would have been successful off of the skits. But yep. you're right. We would have had to go to a dark place at that time. Because now everybody's doing skits. Yes. So you can throw something up there and it's not that big of a deal. Yep. Everybody's used to twerking, talking about dick sucking, pussy. I've been saying dick, pussy yep. and on YouTube. That Like my parents see me saying yep. dick and puss on YouTube. So it's like at this point, we had to do more because nobody was doing it. Nobody was gaming. So we were, no. It was yeah. just like they was gaming, but. They wasn't what nobody black playing, like, and that's true too. Like Minecraft, exactly, Roblox. or making funny videos nope. to the gaming thing. So you created a lane with that too, and it's like, I personally, I'm not mad you stopped doing the skits. I'm not mad we stopped doing. Right, you just wanted to get your yeah, get your edge. Yeah, out, you just know? just get it out, and it honestly didn't come back to me like until maybe like a couple of months ago when everybody was like. 
I remember you because I, I interview a lot of rappers. They're all significantly younger than us, and they used yeah, to watch us. And yeah, it's crazy. Millionaires though. Yes. They're millionaires at like 23, 24 yep. And it's like they, they grew up Like right around the corner LA type shit But it's like they're all Really talented Real successful And everybody Has said they watched us they grew up watching us in high school, and I was in my 20s when we made that video. So, it, those videos. So, it's like basically, Damn. you know, they grew up watching us. So, to see that, that's what made me like want to do it again. But for a second, wait, I wait, was, wait, wait, wait. You ain't in your 30s. I'm not. But well, I'm I was about to, turn, to say, damn. I'm about to turn 30 next month. Okay, so you is in your time. Yes. <laughs> nigga is old. Up Listen, we're getting up there. And I'm, I'm like, gonna, you and me. Yeah, exactly. And I wasn't for a long time. I was straddling the fence. But, you know, you get to that point. That's what kind of made me want to get back into it. It's like, damn, okay, I'm doing the YouTube. I'm like, maybe I could do a skit or two. And a lot of people have asked me to do skits. And I've done, I've done like, a few little voiceovers and maybe see, one or two it's clips. one thing that I want them to know about you. <laughs> you ain't no fool. Yeah, I'm not. You're very smart. I'm not. <laughs> You're very smart. And I'm, I'm reading you and I'm listening to you. I'm looking at how you work things, your body movements. And yo, the way you, you know, just your dialogue. Yeah. You, you're not, you're not stupid. No, I knew it was up. Mm -hmm. And I knew that, you know, even though we weren't making skits, I knew I was more of an asset to them than they were to me. Right. And, 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 and that's okay. But it, it comes back to the point to why do you want it? Why do you want it? Why do you want it? It's okay for you to be more of an asset to, than me or me to be more of an asset than you, Kevin, because right. we're friends. Yep. We're friends. It doesn't matter if And I friendship. want you to be successful. Exactly. And I want you to be successful. Right. So with friendship, that doesn't matter. But when a, a stranger comes to you and they're like, yo, you know, I want to take you out of retirement and all X, uh -huh. Y, and Z. Uh -huh. It's like, hmm. Why? 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 You I'm living a normal life. You gotta know life. your why. Why? You know gotta your know why. your worth. So it was like, I did a few. Shout out Watts Homie Kwan. I've done, I did like a few in that time. He probably was the only one I did videos with in that time. He gave me a genuine love. Right. He let me know from the beginning, like, yo, you know, you inspired me to do videos. I, I was watching you and Kevin. And at that time when I did a few skits with him, he wasn't as successful as he is now. He's very much successful. He's been on Wild and Out, all types of stuff. But you know, everybody else's energy, I just wasn't really fucking with it. And right. then after that, I'm like, you gotta go to a dark place to be that right. Gotcha. I ain't gonna cap. Yep. Like I'm I'm a Super nigga. Dark. I'm a nigga, but I don't talk like that on an everyday basis. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean? It's satire. You it know, is. It's, it's it's dark. So it's like, do I wanna travel back to that person? Do I wanna create that image again? And then it was just like, you know, nah, I'll just wait. I'll wait right. for the perfect timing. But you know, seeing you just post those things the other day. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> I'm like Kevin. Nostalgic. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I'm definitely thankful for where we are, both of us in our lives Same. and everything that you've accomplished and, you know, making your path the right way. And like I said, you know, just starting the videos in the first place. I don't think you get enough credit for that, Kevin. Like we I know I helped you, you know Of course. Like you get, catapulted. Yeah, exactly. Catapulted. But I know the foundation was something you created and you had the right. passion for. It. And I'm not gonna take that from no, you. No, no, no. Kevin had all the subscribers before I hopped on his videos. All I did was bring Kevin a little bit more views. And yeah, it was like water, they naturally water the, you water, you gotta water the foundation. Exactly. You know I mean? They naturally you know, messed with it and it was good chemistry and they knew, okay, outside of everything, they're really friends in town. It's not just her pulling up to act. They're cool and things like that. And I think always. that's why people f messed with it then and they're going to mess with it now. We're so. always going to be that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't even want to do this, this, this comedy thing mm -hmm. if we're not. Yeah engaged yeah no for real because it's not organic it's not organic it's not organic just like it's so crazy you said that i don't like to interview rappers i don't like yep and if i did the interview and i didn't like how your vibe was i just don't want to post yeah, your shit not real it's just not real because it's like i'm not one of those reporters that's out here doing this just to get the scoop i'm i'm reporting people that i like right that other people i know would like and, you're and trying it's to like, get them out there exactly i'm trying to get them out there so it's a different type of situation but you know i'm learning it's new um i, I i'm 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 learning so i'm getting up there and everything is basically a learning like a work in progress type shit but I've, I've been very happy with the response so that shout out to y'all for it's for messing great. with those i know y'all like me as a nigga i know y'all do oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know they everybody like as a nigga too exactly we, we love you as a nigga kevin that's that's you know that's <laughs> not ne <laughs> that's not never gonna change you but i what? mean what i was thinking was it, it's it's crazy how people just don't leave you yeah because i was telling my wife 
when Bad Boys came back out. Yeah. When Martin, I saw yeah. Martin. I, was, I ran to the theater. Yeah. And I ain't seen him in Bad Boys in what ten years. It's been a minute. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just the people stay with you. Yep. If the comedy and, yep. and, and the person is genuine. Definitely, definitely. And I think that that's you know why you'll be successful in what you do. And hopefully, if I don't strangle a nigga before next year. <laughs> I'll be successful in what I do. You know, these niggas be, yeah. be out here trying to give my fine ass the blues. But it's okay, though. But if, is there anything exclusive you want to say to the vlog? You basically said a lot, Kevin, you know? I'm just happy for you. Oh, thank I, you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm happy to be in here with you. I'm happy. This this brings me back. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've been through a lot. Been through depression. Been mm -hmm. through suicidal thoughts. Been through learning having to learn when you make money you have to learn right. business you have to learn different races cultures yep. mm -hmm. how to sell this how to buy this yep. you know what to invest in yep. and then when i get in here with free it takes me away from the business care yep because i got you know that that estate is a two million dollar business right that i had to buy right it's like it's some hot shit you mm -hmm. know and then it takes me back to the broke care yep <laughs> Which is which is where I want to be right. when I'm creating my content. Exactly. That's how I'm able to get the character. Out. Yep. And it's more relatable. And it's more relatable. How many millionaires in the world do you it's know? Not much. Not much. Mm -mm. So it's like you know when you come back to earth. Right. When you come back down. Yeah. Not saying you left, but mm -hmm. you do have to go up there. Yep. And you, and then you got to come back down. You got to come back down, and that's the difference. People go up there and they stay up there. Yep. But they, you got to go. It's not relatable, though. Yeah, it's not relatable. Because I'm like, damn, what's up there? Exactly. I ain't never been up there, but no. I've always been on this ground. Exactly. Well, I still sleep on the ground. That's what I was telling you yep. last night. I still sleep on the ground. Yep. And I still do all the stuff I was doing, too. And they ain't ever going to change me. we not never going to forget where we came from. We're nope. from Bakersfield, California. Yep. And I don't want y'all never to forget that. Born and raised. Born and raised, and nigga still, in the town. Still out here. Yeah, for fact. You know, <laughs> for a fact, I'm out, I'm out of this motherfucker next year. Though. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, okay, LA, so. come on. I could have been left too. I I'm know. Like, why the fuck am I still? Because you do it for the city. Yeah, sure. that's why you do it to boost the love for the city, and I think that's why I do it too. I sure. feel comfortable here. I feel comfortable here. This is my element. No matter how many famous people I'm around or how much money I get. When you come back home. When I come back home, mm -hmm. ain't nothing like, you feel me, pulling up to the mailbox and yeah. doing what I got to do. Or, you see that same yep. Wendy's, that yep. same Jack in the Box. That same that's Waggedy Wing stop. Yeah. Yes. You know what that I mean? takes forever with your goddamn Exactly. Wings. And now we got one Chick-fil-A. So yes. niggas is hot. Yes. Niggas got a few little Raisin Canes. Like, yeah. we, getting we, getting there. There. we getting there type stuff. We getting there type stuff. But I mean... Yeah. So if there's nothing else you want to say to the vlog, I definitely appreciate you, Kevin, for Thank pulling you. up and allowing me to interview you. I know you got a lot going on. You got ten kids. Yeah. No, I love the yeah. kids though. I, I just I mess with kids, Kev though. Kevin because it's like I didn't have no, no not yeah, this many at that. all. But it's like that's what happens though when you're happy. Right. You lay up and you make babies and you do that and you you build. It was just life changing for yep. me. You know, like I've been married six years. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's been that long? I've been married six years. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, and I yeah. ain't had a nigga in six years. So. <laughs> Y'all holla at free. Holla at me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been begging on these vlogs since every year. I ain't got a nigga. Every, every other skit, every other vlog, I'm always saying, yeah, because you know I still ain't got no nigga. It's because you got a lot to give. <laughs> yeah. And they don't have a lot to receive or mm. give. You feel that me? is true. So they, they have to find themselves. Mm-hmm. And then be able to. You have to love yourself first yep. to be able to give love. Yep. So they gotta. They gotta find themselves. Quit trying to play that game. Yep. You in that same game. Mm -hmm. And then they'll be all right because you'll fuck with somebody on some real shit. Oh God, I will. And Kevin knows me. Yep. If you bring in something to the table, mm -hmm. you know we can we can eat there together. Like 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 Shay Sharp said, you got to bring more than an appetite though. Mm hmm. That's true. You feel me? At least you know, the appetizer. You feel, exactly. Yep. You're going you to go to the free table, bring more than an appetite. Yep. You heard Kevin. He know. He know. But, yes, Kevin, I appreciate you for um, sitting down with me and all that. Off top. And um, to all the subscribers and the fans out there, y'all know how much I fuck with y'all. This is just genuine love that you guys been giving me. Even before I was back around, Kevin, I know y'all going to love this. this I yeah, did this for y'all. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't, I don't even do this. No. I know. 
I've never, I've never done this. I know, they and it's crazy how I'm interviewing you. Yeah, ain't that ironic? I've never done it. Ain't that ironic? And like, it's gonna be his first interview, so you as know. As far as like, you know, after the blow up of like gaming and stuff, right? You know, like I've done it before that. Yeah, of course, little hair and skits mm -hmm. and stuff out in L.A. and all of that. But like King Batch, yeah, he, he's a guy that interviewed me. Now he got 20 million followers. Mm. Like that's how long we've been in the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, I look at him, I'm like, damn, he interviewed me. And that's how I be feeling when these niggas that are famous now, the rappers be telling me, like, I watched you on him in yep. high school. It's, Hold it's on, nigga, how old am I really? Because, like, that's what? What? That's why I was like, is you 30? Yeah. I just look young. I look young. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, I, I need, when I drop my 20 pounds, I'll be back to the game. <laughs> but kind of big be funny on camera, too, though, so. Yeah. That's, it's just do. Yeah, it do. It do. <laughs> it works. It, 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 it works to you. Yeah, it works. it works to you. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and um, we're gonna be bringing you guys more skits here and there. You know, as we move, I'm still gonna be bringing you guys interviews, and yeah, make sure you guys purchase your. I seen your mom at Macy's tees. Hard. Get your tees. Thank you so much, and I fuck with y'all.